I am going to be sharing with you today my very favorite mauve toned makeup from every category that has color in it. And we're going to do that right now. Not only do I have all kinds of palettes to share with you that are in the mauve tones, I have a bunch of lip products and I have a bunch of cheek products too. We're gonna get into swatching these and looking at the mauve tone makeup right now. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is what is mauve. Mauve is usually a very cool toned color that is used in makeup. I have everything on my face today that is mauve. I really wanted to showcase that and show you what mauve makeup can look like. My lips are very muted, my eyes are fairly muted. They have a little bit more vibrancy because I did go in with a little bit of a darker color. But on the whole, mauve makeup is quite muted. It's very either rosy toned mauve or it's purpley toned mauve. For me, I kind of gravitate towards the purple mauve. And I have my shirt on that matches it today. I have my earrings on, which a sweet little YouTuber uh, named My Life Wendy, go and check her out. I will make sure I link her below. She makes these. So if you guys are wondering where my earrings came from, that's for Wendy and she does a fantastic job. All right, so the obvious is palettes that actually call themselves mauve and I have three of those and I like them all. I think that they're great palettes. I did not realize that I still had my swatches from my last video on. Forgive me, I'm not that put together. Okay, that's off now, we're good. Smuckers is joining us, so we're gonna just kinda say hi to her and uh, hopefully she'll be a good girl. So the Mobs oh. palette from Juvia's Place, this is one I got fairly recently, but it brings out what I was talking about there either being kind of a purpley mauve or there being pinker mauves. And these two colors right here, which I will swatch for you, those definitely have the mauve vibes to them. They're just kind of muted colors without being over the top, overly bright, and they're very pretty and then this one is a deepened mauve and I think that's so pretty too So this is a beautiful palette I'm glad that they did throw in a little bit of extra color in there Otherwise mauve just gets kind of repetitive as in what they did with making mauves from ColourPop This is a beautiful palette as well. I really do love it However, I do feel like they did a good job in bringing in these neutral colors right here And then throwing the mauve colors in these five right here because they even did a really Really good job of having a light mauve in here and I think that is a really pretty color as well you can see it right there it's very light it's very pretty but it still has that mauve cast to it so I do feel like they did a great job on this with the mauve colors but I do want to let you know that those neutral colors are in there as well if you are somebody that really likes the neutral to cool tones wait for this one to come back in stock as of filming this it was out of stock but they restock so quickly and this has been a really popular palette and I think it's one that you'll be able to find soon from them you can get on their email email list if you want to do that all right also one that has the mauve name is from profusion and this one is really pretty I didn't even know they had this I stumbled across this about three weeks ago and I just think they did such a pretty job in here now I will say that this one down here does have glitter in it but it's really micro fine and it's not a lot of glitter as a matter of fact I do have this one popped in the middle of my lips right there to give it a little bit more dimension and then I put a gloss over top of it so it's a really really pretty color but you know I was looking for a lot of mauve tone blushes and I didn't find as many as I thought I would and I looked at this palette and I thought you know this would be a beautiful mauve toned blush palette as well. The pans are big. You could just swirl your brush in here and then tap it off really well. You might get a little bit more uh, pigment than you wanted, but even the metallics as they swirl together would be so pretty. Let's so see if I can get make that happen. This is just a stipple brush and I'm just going to kind of go over these and then I picked up a bunch on there. Now I'm just going to kind of stipple it and see what we got there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So keep in mind some of your um, eyeshadow palettes can absolutely be blush and that is just gorgeous but these are beautiful colors profusion does a really good job of their shadows they're quite saturated that one is a red red like this one right here you're really looking at a very pinky color which i'll just swatch that right there for you it actually almost translates as orange on the camera not orange but peach deep peach on the camera so it's pretty and i'm glad that they put that in there but it's hard to nail a true mauve in the metallic formula now the ultimate mauve tone palette to me is the huda beauty 
Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. This one is amazing. The packaging on it is beautiful. Um, it's a heavy duty cardboard and plastic packaging. Has a beautiful mirror in there that takes up almost this whole lid. It's dirty because I work with it all the time. This color right here, beautiful light metallic mauve. And then there's this color over here, which is a very light mauve. And then this color down here, which is a very deep, deep mauve. And then this color right here, which is a rosy toned mauve. And then the rest of them just kind of work in conjunction with each other and play to together so well And this palette is a dream for me. I think I named this one my 2018 or my 2018 number one palette of the year because it gives me all of those beautiful mauve feels I just think it's fantastic. It's one of those palettes that I reach for over and over again Especially when i'm looking at wanting a mauve look. It's gorgeous And this is actually what I wore on my eyes today I did go in with this kind of a very very light peaches my transition color then i took that medium mauve color right there and used it just below the transition then i went into this and used it as the deep color that is in the crease and on the outer v right there I did go in with something completely different on my eyelids because I wanted it to be super bright. I'll just show you this really quickly. This is the Becca uh, Prismatic Amethyst Highlighter. I wear this on my eyes all the time. It's so pretty. And I just, you know, spray my brush and then put it on there and it just looks so gorgeous. I think I had junk on my face half of the time there. Okay, it's gone. All right, the last thing here is from Marc Jacobs. And this is one one of his gel highliners or eyeliners and this is in jazzberry this could not be more mauve if i like i said made it myself it's a beautiful mixture of brown and that mauve tone or that rose tone very muted and i do have this on my outer bottom lashes right here about a third of the way over so gorgeous and this is a duochrome color it is one of those colors that you turn it one way and it looks really really mauve or really purpley you turn it another way it looks brown and this is one of my favorite colors that he's ever made but this is just so interesting because it has that multi-dimension to it you do get that bronze look in it or the brown look in it while at the same time you know you turn and you get that mauve tone too I love these liners. They're so good. They don't dry out because the lid is so tight on there and they stay on your eyes all day long. They're really good about that as well. Really love these liners. Oh, I do have one last eye product that I meant to tell you about. ColourPop has this super shock shadow and oddly enough, it's named Bill, which is my husband's name. This is a beautiful mauve tone. Oh my goodness. I have this right on top of the Marc Jacobs liner on my eyes right there. And this is so creamy, so buttery, so easy to blend. I love these. And this I just use with a regular brush and I use it as a transition color or a color that you can use as a liner. I love the Super Shock formula because I feel like it stays put all day long and stays very, very vibrant. And I love it when I find a matte from them that I love, that I like the color of too, because it just ends up being one that I reach for over and over again to do like a one and done look. Because you can really share it out as you go you know when you're working with it at the beginning see right there it's really sheared out but you can deepen it up too to make it look a lot more dimensional on your eyes so i really love these and i love the color bill and i love bill so we're good there so blushes cheek products were a little bit harder for me although i love the mauve tone there just isn't that much and there's not that much at the drugstore i'm sure i'm overlooking some but i'll start out with ones that are kind of along the lines of rosy mauve and that's really a lot of what i have more than anything is just that rosy toned look so this first one is one that i've talked about over and over again on my channel this is between the sheets and it is um, a super shock formula from ColourPop again now you're going to look at this and you're going to go that's not mauve <laughs> well it's not it's more of along the lines of that rosy muted mauve color because when you get it on your cheeks you don't want it to be too terribly mauve otherwise you're going to look like you have purple on your cheeks it has to work with these really super cool tones but it still has to bring life to your cheeks at the same time this so is the age perfect one from l'oreal and i can't see the name of that to save my life so let's see what it is here this one is called mauved mauve so definitely this one is supposed to be mauve as well and like i said these are ones that 
pull along the lines of rows they have to do that otherwise you're going to look so washed out if you put that muted color on your cheeks it's this is a beautiful one that really gets really close to the perfect mauve this is coast to coast uh pressed blush from ColourPop. This one is beautiful. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful mauve tone. And it's not like it's one of those mauves that really just doesn't look much like mauve. It definitely pulls that way. But look at how close it is with the L'Oreal one. It's just a little bit more muted, but we're still staying along those rosy lines. And then this packaging is a magnetic, just snap shut, and you do have the mirror in there. I love that ColourPop does this kind of stuff. This one is out of stock too. You know, they had that 25% off sale and everybody just bought tons of stuff from ColourPop. So get on the, the waiting list for this too. Kosas is the brand that somebody was recommending on their new Sephora VIB recommendations. And it is what I have on today. I just couldn't pass this up because look at this. This is your absolute mauve, but this is a cream product. But look at that. You get the definite pinky mauve vibe there. It's so pretty. And this is just, it's been a beautiful blush to work with. It, Like I said, it is what I have on. And then I have a tiny bit of that highlight on the top. It's just beautiful on mature skin because of the way it just melds and looks so seamless on the skin. I really am in love with that one. The next one is from MAC. And this one again is called Blush Please. This one is more on the, along the lines of neutral mauve to me. It's so pretty. I love this formula. This, these are their... Uh, bounce ones or glow ones the glow ones not bounce that is bare minerals Okay, so this is pretty because it gives you the neutral tone But it gets that muted mauvey color going as well It looks a lot different than it does in the pan doesn't it but it's so pretty on the cheeks And especially if you're wanting more of a neutral mauve look instead of the purpley mauve that i've gone on my eyes You would want a blush that looked like this on your cheeks and that's so pretty I don't want to forget this one from elf. That's a cream blush as well. I it was in with the lipsticks. This is called Sparkling Rose, and it is the prettiest mauve rose color. And this is such a great formula. If you've never worked with these, you really need to look into them because they're just beautiful, beautiful formulas. Now, let me pick that up, and I'm going to just put a little bit across my cheeks so you see how pretty it is. Just a little bit, kind of vivid those cheeks up a little bit. And I just love these. They're just gorgeous gorgeous blushes so if you're somebody that's going well i can't take that price tag of the co price tag of the kosas melissa look into these from elf especially this one that is the sparkling rose it's such a pretty pretty mauve color all right now on to the lips i have two lip liners that i absolutely love excuse the butt in the background there this one is the sephora gel rouge lip liners that i touted so much that I do every single time that I talk about liners on my channel as far as lip liners and high end, higher end goes. It's not really high end. It's not super duper expensive, but it's a little bit more. This is what I have all over my lips um, and to line my lips today. And then the other one is from Essence and this is their soft contour pencil. And this one is in Sucker for Grace. So both of them have that concept of, okay, well, I'm going for a very muted tone. I'm going for one that um, is on the pink side or the purple side. And then we get that mauve color that we love so much. So that is that one right there. And then this one is the Gel Rouge. A little bit different for formula on the gel rouge because it's almost lipstick like whereas this one from essence is definitely just like a pencil that you normally get and it stays a really long time i pulled so many lip glosses and lipsticks out here that we could be here all day just talking about mauve lipsticks and mauve lip lip glosses i'm gonna put my glasses on for this so we can go through it a little bit faster this first one is from sydney grace and this is Haley. sydney grace's lip glosses aren't that much i think they're like ten dollars and they're beautiful beautiful formula look at that beautiful mauve in there just kind of a mix between the rose and the purple on that one and they are a gloss but they're a gloss that is completely opaque so you're going to get that beautiful vibrant payoff of color but you're still going to be able to have your lips look really juicy and then the next one that i have is from essence and this is so heavy these are the plumping glosses from them these are great glosses if you're looking for something at the drugstore that is absolutely beautiful these are absolutely a gorgeous gloss and i have so many 
any of those that formula in different colors i love it so much i don't hear very many people talking about these but if you're somebody that wants to get into the plumping cooling effect it's not like really stark like buxom's is or like Too faced lip injections that like burns my lips the crap out of my lips but these are so pretty i love that one and then the last one I have is like a muted mauve purple. And this is Marshmallow from NYX. And this is their new Butter Gloss release. Um, again, it's Marshmallow. And this one is definitely your mauve tone. If you like mauves, you're going to like that one. It's really beautiful. And then for lipsticks, first of all, from Maybelline on the mauve. Yeah, I know that I haven't seen this in stores for a long time. You can still get this on Amazon, and I'll make sure that I give you a good link for it. This one is a super creamy formula. It's beautiful on the lips. If you were one that liked the look of that Bellflower, the Sephora Collection liner, but you wanted just something that was a little bit faster and a little bit easier, on the mauve is it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I have worn the heck out of this. I think I've gone through like four or five tubes. This is a beautiful lipstick. Probably my number one pick for lipsticks that are mauve, that pull the purple mauve. The next one is from Revlon, and this one is called Soft Hearted. This is a beautiful formula as well, and it has the pink purple mauve color to it so pretty oh my gosh this one is a little bit lighter than on the mauve so if you're one that doesn't like super dark colors it's still a deep color that's going to give you some vibrancy on your on your cheeks on your lips but it definitely is not as dark as on the mauve and then the next one is from mac this is one of my favorites because it is a frosted formula this one is fabby and fabby is really along the lines of a pinky mauve it's very muted but it still has that gorgeous reflect in it from it being frosted i don't wear this as much as i should i love this color i need to leave it out or leave it in my purse another one from revlon that i feel like is super mauve but it definitely leans towards the purple side of mauve is plum dandy this is from revlon like i said and look at that one that one has a little bit more vibrancy to it um, it definitely is a very creamy formula. I love these. It's so beautiful. I also wanted to bring you lighter versions and darker versions on the lipstick. First of all, this is the Vice Lipstick from Urban Decay. Don't shoot the messenger. I did not pick this name out. I would not have picked this name out, but I do like this color and it's violet. And I just think it's so pretty. It's just one of those colors. Actually, it's really close to that one just above it, but it's lighter. And this is a matte color. So it is going to stick around a long time. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and really, really like that one. This, this one from Kiko Milano. We're going really deep on this one. Um, this one is a beautiful formula as well. Actually, holy cow. Okay, so that's just a little bit deeper of a formula than this one and it's creamier so that's kiko milano um i think this one is called unlimited i'm not 100 percent sure no it's called Rosetto. I should have known until I actually look at the color that I don't know what it is. This one is from Makeup Forever. This one is the Artist Rouge Cream, I think. Yes. And this just has a number, C211. And that is that one right there. So these all kind of look at like the same ones, except for these ones that I showed you that are a little bit more on the purpley side. Not many people like the purpley side as much as I do. I'm a purple fiend, really. I do have one more to show you. I forgot. This was sitting over there. This is called Mauve It Up. This one is definitely a beautiful one from this is Maybelline as well. And this one has that definite purple feel. This one has almost like a bright purple feel with the mauve. So you're looking at a color that is very wearable because it does have that little bit of the pink undertone to it. And then this one is from Believe Beauty. And this one is called Vintage Romance. I am out of places to put it. But I wanted to show you this one because this one is more along the lines of a true pink mauve. So that muted tone, they all look almost the same, don't they? I can't believe I have that many mauve lipsticks. But this one is gorgeous. And I think this one is only like $4. And again, this is called Vintage Rose from Believe Beauty. Very inexpensive, but you can only get this at Dollar General. And I love that one. 
All right, that's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of my mauve makeup. It's really fun for me because this is my favorite color to work with. I gravitate towards it. I will move towards it in a room if I see it. Mauve it makeup is just my jam. I absolutely love it. So I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. Everyone stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, and make sure you take care of yourselves. I love you all very much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Video, friends. Bye!